I actually dove on the Johnston wreck and was sitting right next to her. Johnston was about 6,500 meters deep, which is almost twice as deep as Titanic is. And I took 500 photos on my iPhone. Wait, wait, this is with your iPhone? That you, you, you took this yeah. with your iPhone? Yeah, and actually it got better pictures of the camera on the outside of the sub. The deep water discovery of the famed World War II destroyer USS Johnston in the spring of 2021 rocked the world because at over four miles down, it was the deepest shipwreck ever to be explored at that time. However, if we're just meeting for the first time, my name is Ken Stano, and I am a World War II historian, mechanical engineer, and host of the video podcast, Museum Ship Mafia, where on a recent episode, we were shocked to discover one of the pieces of technology the expedition utilized to survey the wreck of the USS Johnston is actually something many of us routinely carry in our pockets. That's right, your basic iPhone. We're going to bring on a guy by the name of Park Stevenson on with us. Parks, welcome. Park Stevenson, I'm just going to give you a little bit of background. He is a deep ocean explorer out of San Marcos, California. Parks is a graduate of the U.S. Naval Academy with over 20 years as a naval officer. And he's even joined expeditions down to the Titanic. He's co-authored a book with film producer and director James Cameron called Exploring the Deep the Titanic Expeditions. Parks, thanks for joining us tonight. Well, thanks for having me on. We've been talking about Taffy 3, the USS Johnston. You actually went down as part of the expedition to find the USS Johnston. So you were there. Yes, I was there. We found the wrecks of Johnston and Sandy B, deepest shipwrecks in the world, on the western edge of the Philippine Trench. I actually dove on the Johnston wreck and was sitting right next to her. Johnston was about 6,500 meters deep, which is almost twice as deep as Titanic is. And down there in that deep was Johnston sitting upright, buried in the sand up to her waterline, guns trained out, looking just as fierce as she did in 1944. But very badly riddled, very, very badly damaged. Victor's limiting factor is a full ocean depth submersible, the only commercial one in the West. But Victor has a pressure drop, and so depth is not a problem for him. It would be depth. At the end of our third dive, we saw the bow of Johnston and did a quick look at it before he surface. And then he and I go the next day to go down and survey the wreck. How long does it take to get down that far? How much time can you spend down there before you have to start coming back up? A typical dive is like eight hours, and uh, it's very cramped. It was about an hour and a half to get down to Titanic. A little bit over two hours to get down to Johnston. And, and of course, there's going to be another couple hours to come back up at the end. So you normally spend about four hours or so exploring the bottom. This is a photo up here that I took outside my viewport. As you can see, 557 is just as clear and bright, almost as the day was painted. The straight above the number, you'll notice that the, the paint is different. It, it, it's confined to the straight, the lines of the straight. And then it could have been painted a different paint. It may not have burned. Uh, you can still see the paint underneath it. I almost think that this straight was painted at a different time or with a different quality of paint, I think, is the difference in this particular photo here. That's Mount 43, starboard side, on Johnson. It looks like she took a shell right into her 40 millimeter magazine there, which blew out the back part of that pedestal that the gun was on. I used all of the photos, not only the photos I took, and I took 500 photos on my iPhone. Wait, wait, this is with your iPhone? That You, you, you took this yeah. with your iPhone? Yeah, and actually it got better pictures in some instances than the 4K camera on the outside of the sub because the software that controlled the shutter speed on the 4K camera couldn't handle the absolute blackness of the depth is our guess. And that's why this, this imagery is kind of blurry, kind of indistinct. Uh, that's the 4K camera. 
the iPhone is actually better suited to low level light situations than the 4K camera was. So yeah, I, I use my iPhone as a backup and I'm glad I did because I caught some very key shots. This picture here, if you look at Mount 52, right outside the trainer seat, you'll see a shell hole. That shell went right into the mount housing, right outside the trainer seat. He probably never knew what hit him. It hit the five inch gun inside and exploded. This is Mount 51 on Johnston. This was right outside my viewport. I had to make a picture of that barrel just right at me. Now to learn more about the deep water discovery of the shipwreck of the celebrated World War II destroyer USS Johnston, check out this video. Finally, if you enjoyed this video, then why not lend your support by clicking like and also subscribing to this channel. My name is Ken Stano. Thank you for watching History X.